All right, welcome to episode 21 of uh Talking Maction. I'm Dominic Clary. I'm here with the uh with the uh road demon himself, uh there Ryan you go. Uh there you the, go. the uh the man that's uh, causing all the havoc. Uh the car in, this weekend. Cleveland. There you go. Yeah. Ryan, how are you doing? How's the how's the road treating? I know you told me a little bit before we went on uh went on air here, but uh yeah, tell the people how's the road. The road is the road is good. Like I so I was telling you off before we started, um, I drove my girlfriend to get dinner this weekend, which was a first for me. Only after four years of dating her that I finally able I was able to drive her to get dinner. And then I drove her home. And then I just got back from a little drive. I just little drive I just did. So yeah, it's I feel like a like I was how telling did, you, I feel like, how does she think about your driving? Does she does she well give she you says, her opinions? She says she's she says I think I'm okay. I need some work, but um, she said I want to be chauffeured around, and I'm like, all right. So I guess I'm oh, chauffeured look, year around. You have a you have a passenger princess on your hands. Yeah, there, right? because I mean, yeah. after four years of dating, she finally gets to say I have a boyfriend who finally drives. <laughs> it's only hey. slightly embarrassing, only slightly. I mean, to be fair, I mean, you two met at campus, right? No, we met when we were still in high school. I was 18. We were, I was still in high school. Oh wow. Okay, yeah. I was about to say because. Uh, at first, I'm like, oh well, you didn't have to drive around. I mean, you had a, uh, you, you're able to walk everywhere or take a shuttle. I'd imagine. I, did you guys have a bus service at Kent? Yeah, but we, I never used it because she had a car on campus, so she always drove me. Oh, <laughs> she drove me to the games last year. <laughs> she drove me to the games last year. Would she yeah. just drop you off? Yeah, she never stayed. Um, yeah. so last year, I remember the day of the home opener last year when Kent was playing uh, Long Island. She literally said. Uh, there was that there was the big I mean you weren't there, but there was that big traffic jam that was because you know Kent Kent's traffic's horrible. Yeah. Um and she was like, We literally got like maybe like pretty close to getting there. And, and I just looked at her and said, I'm just gonna get out and walk because you're gonna be here for an hour. I'm just gonna go. So as soon as I get on a leash, she basically makes a U-turn and turns around. Um and then went for the Mac tournament, my parents would drive me. Um and then I never knew that. Yeah, I didn't even question that. I'm like, my how parents, do I even get my, there? My uh, my my dad would drop me off. And my dad would pick me up. How did I get to Lowe's? My dad would drop me off. He'd pick me up. Now that I work from home, it wasn't an issue. Yeah. And so now, hopefully, I'm trying to see if I could go to a Kent game this year. Maybe maybe in the later on in the year. But just to drive to just just drive down there. But yeah, I can finally do that. So I remember when I first started working here. I'm like, how am I going to be able to do the high school coverage when I'm at Kent? Like, I'm going to need someone to drive me. And then when Vince said, I want you to cover Kent State football, I'm like, bless your heart, because that's... If you would have... You kill me. If you would have told him that last year, you would have just then written coverage of the YouTube game. Because we have someone currently that doesn't have a car that just covers the YouTube game. You would have saved me so much time and effort. <laughs> well, he never, like I said, but of the unfortunate things before we start our main topics, I couldn't apply to any job that I just wanted to. A lot of these journalism, journalism jobs require require a driver's license in case, even working at 92.3, the fan requires a license. Even if you're just a sports anchor, that requires a license. Oh. So I couldn't apply to every single job that I wanted to. So that's why I... I got so here's another fun fact before we start. I've had my temps three times 2020, 2022, and 2023. They've expired every single time minus this one time. Oh, wow. Yep. So I've had my temps three times and I finally got my license. But yeah. All right. Let's get off the license talk, shall we? Uh, license, I, yes. I, yeah. I, I think we, uh, I, I think we, uh, pr- I think I've pried enough at your, uh, you your more. driving stuff. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the uh, another heartbreaker for the uh, Fighting Moorheads. Uh, Akron falls to Buffalo 13 to 10 and triple or no, just a singular overtime. I believe um, just, just for context, I didn't really watch any games. Tyler Bridges updated me. I was at two weddings. I was drinking a lot of wine. I was, I was, yeah, I'm, st- I'm suffering from it. My stomach's killing me. So I wasn't <laughs> able to watch this game. Uh, yeah. It's, this is kind of like a sad overtime Buffalo won because they kicked a field goal in overtime, which you believe it or not, you don't see happen very often. Well, because you have to get that stop, then a score. So they must have stopped him yeah. 25 and they must have scored. Yeah, I um, was the favorite at the end and still lost. I didn't get to watch much of this game, um, but Buffalo finally gets their first win of the season. Yay. Mm-hmm. I But they're still one and four. And uh, obviously this wasn't like a, they didn't blow out Akron. They won by three. I don't. I still. I don't know if this was any progress for them, but it's nice to get their first win column. First win in the in the win column. The only thing this does now is stay. It saves off the 
elimination from a bowl game for a little bit longer. Uh, but did uh did DJ Irons play this game at all or no? Irons played. He did. He did play. Uh, hey, he got injured at and, the end. And he's, he gets hurt a lot. Well, yeah, because he's running for his life, Ryan. I mean, if, if I was DJ Irons as well, I would be hurt. And, you know, Ryan's froze right now. But, you know, uh, DJ Irons is a scrambling quarterback, and he doesn't have great protection uh, there in the pocket. Uh, the past three years he's been the starter, he hasn't really had – uh, an offensive line that that's been able to protect uh, to the extent of, of how much he throws. But on top of that, they haven't had a running game. Uh, their running game last year, he was their leading rusher. They struggled to get the ball on the ground this year. Uh, they didn't really rush with anyone with Anderson or with Lingard, which they should, uh, you know, those two guys are fantastic, fantastic runners. Um, and they've been successful uh, early early in the year on running the ball uh, with Lingard uh, and Anderson. So, yeah, Ryan's going to try joining again. Oh, he joined, but he's not there. Okay. I thought it was going to be like the uh, the Bill Belichick thing where the dog pops up in the seat. Remember that during the draft, yeah. during the COVID draft? The dog was just sitting in the chair while the yeah, Patriots I, made a pick. I was about to move locations. I don't know why that just happened. So hopefully we're good for us of the podcast. But, yeah. The last thing I remember saying, DJ Irons gets hurt a lot. He gets, he gets hurt a lot. Yeah, I just talked about his offensive line in a little bit and how they they had not really run the ball with a lot. I mean, Irons had 16 rushes uh, for 77 yards, which means he was getting hit pretty early. Um, usually when a quarterback runs that many times, you're able to get 100 yards just because a lot of it is, uh, you know, spontaneous. Uh, let's mm-hmm. move on to our next game, Ryan. Uh, Central Michigan, I'll tell you what, fire up chips. They are playing some Good football with Eastern Michigan. Not the start that uh, was desired there for them. Uh, they are 2-3, and 0-1 oh in the conference. While Central Michigan, they're 3-2, and two, man. And this is a it's a good good team. Uh, Bauer's really stepped up. Uh, you know, Emmanuel was supposed to be the, the starter this year. Bauer, after the Notre Dame game, kind of proved how tough he is. Uh, I'm really, really excited to see how his career goes. I think he's a sophomore. I, I'm really excited about him, but uh, anything on this game, Ryan? He is a sophomore. I just looked it up, and, I mean, he did throw for 218 yards, which is pretty good for a Mac game, you know. I think is Eastern Michigan kind of worse than what we thought at the start of the year? Because remember going to last year, they were pretty solid. Uh, we were expecting them to be good again this year, and, I mean, right now, I mean, conference play just, did just begin, but kind of a kind of a slow start for them so far. But, I mean, conference play did just begin, so they can rack up some wins later on in the year, especially when they have to face Kent State and maybe some of the drudges of the conference. But Central Michigan, also good start. I wasn't expecting much of them this year. I'll tell you what, was. they're barely running. Eastern Michigan, Samson Evans was the man last year uh, for the mm-hmm. Eagles. He's barely he's barely seen action. Uh, he's only had nine, nine carries uh, for this game. Uh, he had a touchdown, but it seems like they're not really using him uh, as the horse as they did last year. Austin Smith, the quarterback, I mean, he was 20 for 26, 186 yards, not touchdown, bad. no interceptions, but he also had 19 carries for 71 yards in the touchdown. So Austin Smith is running a lot, and, and by all means, he's talented. Uh, but right now, the record doesn't resemble it. Uh, let's talk about Miami and uh, Kent State, shall we? Ugh. You want to go in on this? Oh, uh, is I mean, all I have to say. So, before before you you continue your eh on <sighs> Kent State, here's the good news. They only gave up 23 points against a good Miami team. Huh? But huh? You know, I mean, yeah, okay, you're, yeah. kind of, you're kind of – I remember last week I did that article where I was like, four takeaways, and I was like, I'm trying to be positive here, but – I I mean, yeah, 23 points. That's good for the defense. But we knew going into the year, though, the defense was going to be pretty okay. I mean, who do, they, who, do they send to, who do they send to media day? They didn't send any, any offensive players. They sent two defensive players. They didn't send anyone from the offense. It was all the defense. Um, And the offense right now, I mean, I, I also just say this in my article, too, um, from last week, that this McCray kid they got, I like him quite a bit. He had a really solid game this week. With 10, rece- 10 receptions and 105 yards. Obviously, no touchdowns because they only scored three points. But I like this kid. He's a really, really good player. And I really hope that he doesn't transfer at the end of the year. That is my one big fear. We'll see, man. 
I'm we'll, a Kent State. We'll, that will tell what the culture is there. I'm a Kent State fan. My biggest two fears are football players transferring and basketball players graduating. Those are my two biggest fears, both of which mm-hmm. I don't like. Um, so yeah, I'll tell you what, because Kent Kent State in basketball, they were the kings of the transfer portal. They still kind of are. They sincere, kind of are. sincere Carey was a was a transfer Malik, guy. Malik Jacobs, Chris Payton, Jacobs. uh Myron Thompson, Myra's Th- Myron Thomas transfer. Um, they they also had a practice squad guy that was a, a transfer from Duquesne to uh Kent, but you don't know who he is. I he he was he was uh friends with Sincere. He also okay. went to my middle school. Yeah. So when this guy left for Solon, Sincere lived with him. Oh, okay. Yeah, but he played on Kent. Um, yeah, he's like my height. Good basketball player, but he, boy, he looked dwarfed compared to everybody else. And they just got a couple other transfers this year. Kent State different basketball. So, I mean, uh, I guess it kind of goes both ways. Football team transfer portal guts them. Basketball team, we take all the good talent well, that no one plays it for, it's and we little, go to March Madness. It's a little, di- <laughs> it's a little different because Kent State's always been a, a, a team where basketball has been the one sport they've always been pretty good at. Um, I mean, it seems like you guys are always, yeah, you guys are always upper tier in the, uh, in basketball, from my memory, I, I'll tell you what, Toledo, it, I remember going to, uh, like, the MAC championship game in, like, 2013, I think, and they were in the championship game. Every time Toledo is right there to win the championship, and they never do. They haven't won a tie, an AC, or ACC. They haven't won a MAC championship since, That's the, uh, first like one. the 80s. The first one. It was the first conference tournament. It's unbelievable, which, by the way, I think that, will, that, that won't last for much longer. I think in the, the next few years, they're going to win one. We got to do basketball, man. We'll we'll do basketball more. I I was sick about it. I'm like, I can't, we kind of need to do this a little like longer. We, we can't do volleyball. Oh, speaking of that, speaking of that, we can go to the uh, baseball uh, MAC championship this year. Is that here? It's in uh, it's in Avon. I could drive there. Y- yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, you can. It's uh, it's at the Lake Erie Crushers. Uh, uh, and actually, before they, we they don't it... have a they don't have a lot of press room. No, um, I work there, so like I know there's not a lot of press room. Um, though they redid that that area, mm-hmm. so we'll see what we can do. But uh, even, no, even but then, before, I'll buy a ticket if I have to, which I, I, before, I shouldn't have to. But I mean, but Kent State basketball actually was um, I think two outs away from winning the MAC this year. Gave up a grand slam, mm-hmm. with two outs, and I was crushed. I mean, I I, I watched State. one baseball. I watched one baseball game all year, and that was after I graduated, so I wasn't there for it. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually think I went there that night, actually. My parents drove me, obviously. Um, mm-hmm. But, no, I remember watching that, and I'm like, we ha- we're we too out. I mean, I just always imagine, like, oh, my God, if the Guardians were ever lose a World Series like that, oh, wait, kind of have. They, the, yeah, they had a heartbreaker, man. And then but whatever. Tito's gone. Don't remind me. Go Cavs. They suck, too. No, they don't. Hey, they're, they're pretty all right. It's a, listen, I'm, I'm going to miss Tito just as much, man. I got – uh. He, he, you know, the little Boston great, the, Red Sox. The, yeah, the uh, Wally, Wally, sad man. He he <laughs> loves Tito. Uh, Tito's been gone there for ten years though. So, so dude, dude brought two championships to uh, the uh, the city of losers at one point. So he 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 only won. I mean, they only went to the ALCS here once with him, and that was eight seven years ago. I kind of kind of that Tito. They only went to the ALCS once here, only once the whole time he was here. Tito only once. Well. I mean, listen, you can say what you want, but he took a small market club into a team that you didn't want to face in the playoffs. Yeah, but let's be real after, here. But I after mean, 2017, they never won a playoff series again. Yeah, but it's not like the management did much to help them. No, they got to the. They, this, they, they, you know what? This is a conversation for across the sports world. We'll, we'll have to do a. Uh, we'll we'll have gonna to have talk to, yeah. baseball. Yeah. yeah, we definitely can. Yeah. But back to Kent State's offense. They scored three points, just like the Guardians' offense. Three runs. Three runs. Ugh, I can talk. But yeah, no, Michael Amalio. I don't really know how I feel about him quite yet. I mean, he's 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 serviceable, I guess. But they didn't score any. They didn't get any. I mean, they went up three nothing this game to start. And in my head, I could hear you tweet, "Stop the count! Stop the count! We're up <laughs> in the game now." And then Miami scores twenty three unanswered. Stop the count. And Kent State's now one of four. They're one and one at home. And this was also Parents Weekend too. Apparently, I didn't. I didn't know that. Um, but I. Look, listen. I had another four more school this week that had a huge week, so you know what is, I'm. What is what is friends and family weekend? Is that just another way of saying homecoming? No, it's just yeah, parents come up if you're like a freshman. Do you have homecoming? Yeah, October twenty first. Oh, my school. I want to go. BW never. BW never had uh, friends and family. We had homecoming, and they lost from their homecoming. BW. 
Well, last year, Kansas they lost, the, game. They lost to uh, Marietta. We, they haven't done that since uh, the COVID year. I was shocked. Well, last year for the homecoming game, it was that Ohio game went into overtime. Dante Cephas had a monster game that got him a lot of pub for wanting to transfer because he, he was a playing beast. at all? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't. I don't watch a lot of Penn State. I probably will watch oh, wait, the Ohio C- State Penn no, State. No, no, no. I was no, no, no. Cephas plays. He starts. I was thinking of uh, the quarterback Schley. I don't think he plays. There's no way. I don't know why he went to UCLA. Right, bigger this is where he went. Yeah, UCLA bigger school. Yeah, it's a bigger school. All but right, yeah. Kansas State's one and four. They suck. Um, continue. <laughs> All right, the game that I, I had no idea this was going to happen. Uh, Bowling Green beat Georgia Tech. My former school. My former school. I'm claiming. No, them. don't do that. That's the most Ohio State thing you've ever done. Did, like a, did it, there'll be a player that goes on like a recruiting visit to Ohio State, and then all I hear for the next five years when that person play, has like four good games in the NFL. Well, actually, he <laughs> is from Ohio State. Because his aunt once had property here. <laughs> and even though he grew up in Washington and the state all the way in the Pacific Northwest, we consider him Ohio a lot. Shut up. I, hate I actually went to school there, though. I was on everything. their campus. No, I was. I don't care. You're a Kent State fan. You literally were laughing at your parents when Bull and Green lost to Kent last year in, in horrific <laughs> fashion. I, I hope they laugh in your face this year when they beat Kent State. Yeah, well, I so, said it. Well, I was texting one of my dad's friends, and I said, "Our for in all caps, our former school just won. He's like, don't ever say that. You're banned. Shut up. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> but, hey, well, you know what I got to say, baby? What? Oh, Ziggy. Oh, God. I hate but that. what a, I hate what a that huge thing. win though for them. I mean, that puts them at two and three. That's an ACC win on the road. I mean, we're, we're talking about a conference that had a positive record against the SEC this year. Yeah, and a conference that has, I mean, Florida State in it. I mean, this is a good win. This is probably one of the best program wins that I could think. I mean, I think the second best I could think of was against Toledo last year. I mean, this is a really they good win a, for them. They had a really good win against Pitt, like. Oh, a while like 14 years ago. I remember because yeah. I was at that game and I cried. Um mm-hmm. yeah, they, they've had a few good power five wins. Um, I mean and and, and this wasn't like uh they shocked them. They fought back, they were down 14 nothing. Well, and also at one point they were up like 38 to what was it like 38 to 14 at one point? They had a pick six, six I mean they had a pick six in this game. So the at the end of the first quarter, they were down 14-7. They then scored 10 unanswered points. They then proceeded to outscore Georgia Tech 21 to 6 in the third quarter. Georgia Tech scored one touchdown in the fourth. Bowling Green uh, didn't score the rest of the game. But I'll tell you what. They scored 38 unanswered. <laughs> oh, Ziggy. Oh, Ziggy. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I, I mean, it. for a program, for a team that we kind of written off this year because, you know, they have a new quarterback in there who's not McDonald, and I wasn't even the biggest fan of McDonald. We all thought they were kind of stink this year. I mean, I don't know if this is going to lead to them for to get a, get a bowl game or not. I mean, I don't know. because They still have to win four more games, and they have to probably face Toledo at some point, obviously, and they have to play, play, play Akron. Buffalo, we still think, could have something. We don't know. I mean, but this is this this is a good win. I don't know. I mean, they also did play well against Michigan. They had a lot of picks in that game. But granted, had they not I mean it was against Michigan, so that's why Michigan won. But this is a good win for them. I'm I, I'm actually happy for them. And I say sarcastically, this was my former school. I say it very sarcastically. Uh, but but I did put on my Snapchat story that what a big one for my former school. And four months that counts. Mm-hmm. Counts. Let's move on to the next game. Before we do that, you see what Ohio uh, football uh, tweeted out today? I did not. They tweeted out the uh, the the bob the bobcat uh, paw, um, the picture of a, of like the logo. So yeah. last year they did that and they wore that on their helmets. So hopefully, uh, hopefully the bobcat paw is back instead of uh, the normal. I'll tell you what, that should just be their logo on their helmets. Should be. It's cool. Yeah, or just like the the actual bobcat. Mm-hmm. They had the actual bobcat would be cool. I don't like how it just says Ohio. It looks fine, but like I think it would yeah, it's a little or... generic, a little generic. Well, but uh, let's go. Even though the paw is pretty generic, it looks cool. Uh, yeah. Western Michigan and Ball State. Uh, Western Michigan, 42-24. I'll tell you what. They might make a bull game, Ryan. I'm a I mean, big fan of this Broncos. I mean, they're two and three, but 
they're going to be in the conversation while Ball State. Bottom, I think we can bottom, agree. They're bottom bottom feeders. Not a good team. No, no. they they haven't been good in a in a really long time. This also they were team. decent last year. They collapsed at the end of last year, but they were good most of the year. Your boy uh, Cooper had uh, 15 carries for 82 yards. Uh, you know, I I still I still find that weird that move so bizarre. It's we said we said this I don't know how many times. It was such a lateral move. Like I understand you probably don't want to say it, Ken, because the guy who recruited you is gone. Um, and you were like, okay, this offense is going to be, it's going to be horrible this year. And I get that, but I mean, to go to another Mac school who they're not, I mean, they're, they have the same record as Kent take it for what it's worth. They're the same record as Kent state. Mm-hmm. Um, they're bottom feeders of this conference. Um, and that I think I'm pretty sure Kent state plays ball state this year. That is going to be unwatchable, but I will have to watch it and I can't wait. Um, again, two and three. I mean, you're, you're going to watch it and you're going to like it. I'm going to love it. Yeah. <laughs> no flashes. Um, and to, I mean, Western Michigan at two and three. I, I mean, bowl game, hopefully, maybe. I'm not, I mean, what do you think? For Western Michigan? Yeah. I really like them. I, I like the, so, I mean, look at the quarterback stat line 328 yards, three touchdowns. It's impressive. So it is impressive. He did play better this week. When he was at Toledo, he did not play great. By the way, Sambucci is really good. He's, uh, he's uh, one, probably their leading wide receiver, but like their run game is pretty good. I mean, they're running back yeah. at eight carries for two touchdowns. He only had 53 yards. So this is the team where it, it seems like things are starting to click for them. They, they might they might compete for the MAC West, maybe not next year, but the year after. I think they will. So what, in 2026, 2025? I, I, hate, I hate that, 2026. I uh, 2025, yeah. 2027. I'll, I'll be 26. I don't want to get old, but yeah, no, I. We I already mean, are, my friend. We already we'll are. We'll still be we'll still be doing the show in our in in our in my sister's bedroom. So there you go. <laughs> By the way, I see what you post about your sister. She's a cheerleader and all that. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah, yeah. So she's I'm, having fun. You know what? If I could, I don't do. I haven't done a high school game since. Geez, last year, week two. If I could pick a game to cover, I might pick her senior night. If I could ask Vince to say, "Hey, don't let anyone I mean, go to Lakewood." It's, it's at Lake. I, I don't think we really have someone usually go there. I'm going to say, hey, don't let anyone go to Lakewood that day. It's my sister's senior night. I want to cover it. Let me do it. I want to send the press box for it. Let me do it. I mean, at the same time, enjoy your sister's senior night, man. She only gets one. <laughs> that is true. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but yeah. You have time. You have, you have a week or two. Yeah, but they did also, they did spell our last name wrong. It's too, they forgot the R in front of the U. So they Stu Har. Stu Har. Yep. Kaylee Stu Har. Well, you just walk right down the road and fix it. That's all. So funny enough, that happened to me. Uh, in football, my name was spelled the wrong, wrong way. Clary was spelled fine, but Dominic was spelled incorrect. Which is, the, I always feel like Dominic's easier. Is a hard, is, Clary's a hard name to spell. Like, is there an E in there? Is there not? Yeah, Dominic's kind of sure. easy. Yeah. Spell my name. D-O- oh, you can, you can see my name without looking. I, I can't even see your name. D O M I N. Nope. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> see? So, okay. so Dominic, my name is a translation. My Which name is, is not. My name does not have American or English vowels in it. It's Italian vowels. Okay, Dominic. It's because my name is supposed to be Domenico. And oh, all right. It's supposed to have an O at the end, so it's spelled the exact same way, but it just doesn't have the O. Okay. Yeah, most people don't have that. My name's spelled that way, so it looks like my my grandfather's name. We're learning so much in these last two shows. I know. I have a driver's license. I, you know how to spell I have your a, name. I have a weird name. Yeah, it's. I mean, Brian didn't name. have a it's driver's a pretty, license. I have like, a pretty, yeah, a pretty average name. It's just, right. it's, it's just, just, yeah, it's just. Uh, I mean, I'll tell you what. Everyone in the nineties was named Dominic, but um, <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about uh, Toledo and uh, NIU before we uh, get into next week games, uh, shall we? Uh, to- Toledo in a surprisingly close game for uh, NIU, uh, thirty-five to thirty-three. Uh, yeah, I mean, Toledo was up 14 to seven, um, after the, uh, at the end of the first half, but NIU really stuck with them. Uh, Toledo scored 14 in the third and, uh, NIU scored 10 and then seven points for Toledo. And then that's 16 points for NIU, uh, in the fourth quarter. I mean, they made it close as close as you can get. I mean, they were up 35 to 20 though, at one point in the fourth quarter. Um, I'm going to consider those garbage time points. Like they probably had, those are garbage time points i kind of look at this game uh, actually kind of similar probably to the usc colorado game where at one point the game was a complete blowout but i don't know 35 10 20 the blowout but yeah i mean those toledo, are our garbage toledo, times toledo was a favorite the entire way yeah um it never really like i said down. i don't know if i'm going to take this as a positive for niu or not the fact that they still kind of hunt in there and they didn't give up 
Um, I'm still kind of just over them in general. They've disappointed me so many times the last two seasons where I'm just like, I'm over them. But uh, Daquan Finn did play this game, though. We were all kind of curious as to what was going to go on with that, and he did play. He had 281 passing yards and two touchdown passes, which is good. It was 16 to 20, so they didn't throw much. Um, and they actually had a really good rushing game. I mean, they had like 113 yards on the ground, so that's pretty good. They had a good game this game. Um, they are still the best team in the conference, I think, and they're going to win. I I have no doubt to believe uh, that unless there's a – I'm Unless there's an what, injury, who do they play this week. Um, we'll talk about that here in a minute. I'm telling you what, it's tease. Yeah. Ohio and Ohio and uh, in Toledo, collision course. They could run the gauntlet. We could see two MAC teams ranked. Uh, are we sure about that? I'm saying if they run the gauntlet, I don't think they face each other. I don't think they face each other. They do not. So, Ryan, I understand. Oh, here comes this Mac guy saying stupid stuff. <laughs> the Sun Belt does it all the time. Conference USA is the worst conference in college football. They had two mm-hmm. ranked teams last year in UTSA, and I think someone else was ranked too. Why not us, Ryan? Why can't we get spoiled? Huh? Well, why we just can't, a school why the can't ACC. we get can't hit Bowling Green? Listen, hey. I'm talking about the top dogs. Toledo has a great coaching staff. Coach mm-hmm. Candle has been there since 2017. He's the most successful coach they've had since, what, the 90s? The early 2000s? Nick Saban. <laughs> Nick Saban. Uh, he coached Toledo? He went to Kent State, coached coach at Toledo, yeah. I didn't know that. And Urban Meyer um, coached at, at uh, Bowling Green. I did know that. So yep. they had that weird logo. Yep. And, and, then, the, he, and Cal- then, he went to, then he went to Utah, I think, after. Yep, and College Game Day was there back when he was there. So, yeah, College Game Day, Matt Campus. They were, they were that good. Yeah, look it up. College game. They were look up college game day bowling green. My dad wanted to go, but it was like 10 years after he graduated and he had two little kids. So he gonna go. And I was one of one of the little kids. So there you go. Oh, so this was the two thousands. Yeah, they were ranked. They actually faced another it might have been a western or eastern Michigan. They were facing another race school in the Mac. It was I, Eastern Michigan. Eastern Michigan's never had more than like nine ones other than last it year. It was one of the race schools, but it actually might have been an A maybe, ironically enough. But yeah, college game day. I believe they're at like another Mac school not that long ago, but it doesn't happen often. And if they ever if they ever at are at Kent, I am driving myself down there, I'm going. I don't care. But then I ain't gonna be this year. But yeah. When um college game day was at Pitt last year, it was like everything I ever dreamed of. That the it was like the last time they had college game day at Pitt before that was when Larry Fitzgerald was in the Heisman race. And that was forever uh, ago. It was against Virginia Tech. And you know who the quarterback for Virginia Tech was? I'm gonna have no idea. Don't say no wait, who who I don't know. Has a very familiar last name. Who? It's Michael Vick's uh bro- younger brother. Oh, Michael Vick has a younger brother in college? Not now, in 2002 he did. Oh, oh, I was going to say, what? Um, <laughs> Yeah. All right, we have 10 minutes left, so we got to get some hustle going. I might have to pay for this extra time. Uh, you, Western yeah. Michigan, Mississippi State. I think we're both going to agree that Mississippi State's going to wipe the floor with Western Michigan, bring them back down to earth. Yeah, a little bit. What well, we're both uh, thinking, Western Michigan. Yep. Yeah. I go, what? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Um, Mississippi State's going to win. Yeah. Um. They're coming off a bad loss, so let's see what happens. Maybe Western Michigan could scare them, but first Thank half you. at most. I mean, the line's at 20, so we'll see. I think, uh, they could, I think Western Michigan could cover. But... Talking about a line at 20, uh, Toledo and UMass. Do uh, you have any thoughts on this, Ryan? Is it Toledo, isn't Toledo the one that's favored by 20 in this game? Yeah. Hey, get Toledo. It's crazy. We're picking a road max school against an out-of-conference opponent. But, yeah. Uh, Toledo... a, former, a former MAC team. I don't know if they're going by 19 and a half. I might pick Matt, UMass a cover. I know they're really bad. We said this a lot. They're really, really bad UMass. But Ryan, I think... this was 2003. Yep. That's when BG, that's when they had college game day at BG. Um, NIU. It... Yep. NIU was ranked 12? <laughs> going they on were... in 2003. Mo- both. I think they might have beat, they both mass schools were ranked. And if I'm correct, if I'm wrong, one of them might have beaten Bama. This is before Bama became Bama. Again, but look it up. Look some. Look up. Well, I watched a little bit of, the, of that coverage back on YouTube not that long ago. And I think they may have beaten an SEC school, but yeah, they were pretty good back in the day. Uh, but yeah, pick a Toledo to win by twenty to thirty. I'll say it's a ten point game. I'm not gonna say they win by twenty, but Toledo. He's in shock right now. I can tell. I'm I'm like reading as we do this. Uh, thirty four eighteen. Wow, Bowling Green took it to him. Um, let's talk about uh Central Michigan and Buffalo. I think uh 
I think this is going to be a lot closer than I think what people think, but I think Central Michigan's going to win. They're, they've are they been a solid team. So let's see Are we putting the do. nail in the coffin in Buffalo then? You putting the nail in the coffin? Oh, he don't want to say it. You go say it. So talk to me next week about it. Talk to him next week. I'm going to be – I'm going to go bold here. I'm going to pick Buffalo. I'm going to say Buffalo wins. I like it. I – I don't want to talk about it. I'm sad. Um, <laughs> Ball State and Eastern Michigan. I think Eastern Michigan's going to be Ball State here. Eastern Michigan. The line can't be big enough. Ball State sucks. Yeah, they're not very good, are they? No, they have the same record as Kent State. They're bad. They're really they, bad. They might be just as bad. Uh, and why did Cooper transfer? I don't know. Minus the different coaches because of the pr- recruitment. I don't know. Should have stayed here. He would have run. He would have been this whole entire offense. He would have been the whole offense. But yeah, I'm picking uh, not Ball State. <laughs> They had a sellout crowd of thirty-one thousand people, the second largest in uh do- the the do- the the Dwight the Dwight the Dwight. But yeah, yeah. Um. Then uh, speaking of the devil, uh, Bowling Green uh faces Miami at Miami. Uh, I think Miami's gonna win this one, Ryan. I think Bowling Green's magical week comes to an unfortunate end, and Miami of Ohio is gonna win. I want to see. Dude, the they're not gonna stop parting till the beginning of the beginning of the game. Oh yeah, no, I, 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 it, it was a good win. I, I would like to pick them to win this week, but Miami's favored by ten and a half. And is there any chance to take some momentum into this game? Maybe for the first half, but Miami is a better football team, and they should win this game by over double digits. Uh, just so you know that there was a petition to bring college game day to Toledo. Um, I remember this Bowling Green game, yeah, two thousand sixteen. I remember um, that, yeah. Yeah. So the pool, the pool closed. Uh, they did not get it. Um, Boom. Yeah, I, I remember when uh, at BW, our joke was that if we went undefeated and we faced Strong Carroll at the end of the year, we would be uh, college game day would come to BW. That was like our big joke. Um, <laughs> we never were able to even come close to that, but hey, eh, um, this is a dream, dream on, yeah, dream on. Uh, Kent State and Ohio, Ohio's gonna blow them out. Ohio's gonna crush them. I don't care, the, the line better be 24 and a half. Ohio's gonna crush them. I'm wow. Sorry, okay. Okay. Uh, Akron and NIU. Uh, I think NIU is not going to be able to recover after the game that they had. Um, I think they think they'll have momentum, but I think Akron, they, they're going to get a win here at home. I will be at this game. I'm going to roll with the fighting more heads. I'm also picking Akron this week. The fighting more heads. <laughs> I love that name. It's a five. It's a five. It's a five point line. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, I think Akron's a better football team. I know the record may not indicate that. I bet that they have the same record. So, Take that for what it's worth, but Akron fighting more heads win. Fighting more heads. Um. All right, we have some time. We have five minutes. So Ryan, I got a question. Favorite Shoot. NCAA college football game. I'm gonna go with uh, the one that had Barry Sanders on the cover. Was that twelve? Right, that is Madden. No, there was another one where Barry Sanders was on the cover with both. Actually, you know what? I scratched that. I'm going to go back to when I was younger. I remember back when I first started playing college football, they used to have, um, and I really am upset they got rid of this in the future games, and I don't know if they're going to bring it back, and I kind of hope that they would, but I know the unfortunate times are coming soon. Um, I love the Lee Corso stuff where they put the head. They used to do that back in the day. Like, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. it, it was you, very good. It wasn't very good, just because. I, but I thought it was cool. I like that stuff. I wish they'd bring it back. So I'm going to go with probably like, I think the first one I remember playing was NCAA 06. I used to play that game a lot. And then I'm going to go was with... Was that with Reggie Bush? Yes. There was I also one with, that one. Was there also one with Tebow on the cover, too? Was that 7? 11. It was 11. Hmm. But I remember... I kind of. I, wanted... I have a story about that game, but go, go ahead. ahead. But I want them to bring that stuff back, and I don't know if they're ever going to. Oh, because we'll see. I would, I would they... like to... Is it, do we know for the new game? Are they going to be doing the ESPN coverage like they do? We know for... nothing. We know nothing. I don't want anything to... about the detail. We don't know anything. Uh, this this one's one of my favorites, just because mm-hmm. I remember like you know having a pit guy on the cover meant everything to me. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's at a time where pit football was pretty much dead, and then you had Tyler Palco going to the NFL. You know, local guy, and then Larry Fitzgerald. Mm-hmm. You know, Heis should have won the Heisman. Um, you know that that was cool, but. I, to uh, eleven was pretty cool because that's when Road to Glory started, and uh, Aaron Andrews w- was was the commentator of it. Yeah, and she remember she was big for college football back then, and mm-hmm. uh, I mean she still is, but even back then she 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 was the face of sideline reporting for college football. They're bringing that and back. I remember, 
I I think so. They're bringing they some back uh, my player mode. Um, I I think they're calling it Road to Glory, but I don't know. Don't um, change any names. Call it Road to Glory. Yeah, Dynasty yeah. Mode Two. Mm. Yeah, di- so yeah, Dynasty Mode is gonna. I hopefully they keep Dynasty Mode. Um, not unchanged. They need to fix recruiting. Recruiting got boring. Uh, I can't do. I cannot do that again. I cannot continue to recruit the way I was recruiting. I'm gonna <laughs> lose my mind. But I I mean we'll see. We'll see what happens because we still don't know if we're going to get uh um we should do a live uh, stream when that game comes out we could i thought about like starting the twitch uh stuff um i mean it's for like us watching games and stuff i can't remember this is the first time i've actually been this excited for a video game it's the reason why i bought my xbox was because i i think about it every day right do what people system do you have though xbox xbox yeah it's the the only reason why i bought it was for this game right here i don't care about the 2ks or the madden they are making an Xbox exclusive Indiana Jones game like in 2025. So I'm very excited for that, obviously. But this I'll is probably play that. That'll be cool. Is it when does it take place? What the game the movie or the game? Yeah. They haven't said it. They haven't said anything about it. Okay. I'll I think I you know who, obviously... who's the developer, do you know? Basti Bastida? Bastetta? Bethesda. I don't... Bast- I don't not a gamer. Okay. Not a gamer. So Bethesda is one of the best um companies when it comes to making free world games. Um, they just came out with Starfield, which has been a fun game thus far. It's had some complications with what people thought it was. Um, but they made Skyrim, if you ever heard of that, and Oblivion, I, yeah. uh, Fallout. Um, they're really well known for making really good uh, like RPG open world type games. Uh, so you have a lot of things you'll be able to do. I hope you're not Indiana Jones, honestly. It'll kind of ruin what? it. The whole thing is making your player. Could you imagine if you worked with him though? That'd be kind of cool. He might be in the game. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But uh, like but I think they said, they, I think they said they're. It's going to be during World War II, I think, because they did say something about oh. killing Nazis. They're not going to do it. I mean, they're not going to make him old again. Like for yeah. the, have we'll him a, and have him in a wheelchair in the new. <laughs> That'd <one. laughs> be great. Uh, he's like whooping across the wheelchair. But uh, that's it from us. We're out of time. Uh, so yeah, uh, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel um, and all where you get your podcast. Uh, next week, same bat time, same bat channel. Ryan, thank you as always. Thank you for having me on.